guys, running Kimono here. So I did a midweek haul and it went really well. Um, I used my husband's card and just did a deal again um, over at Walgreens. Some really cool cheapies and freebies over at Walmart. I did my groceries and then I looked for a couple things and man, I hit the mother load. So we're gonna talk about that. And then Rite Aid, I know a lot of you have been asking like, Rite Aid, where is it? Um, they have a 10 off of 50 and I just whipped together a really quick little deal. So I'll go through that. The weather report for you guys, beautiful day today. Um, and hi to my mom if she's watching. I hope she's having a superb day. Okay, let's talk about, we're gonna go Walgreens, Walmart, and then Rite Aid at the end. Um, so I just put this deal together because um, I wanted to use some Walgreens cash. So that was the plan. So I, there's three of those Angel Softs and my husband's favorite toilet paper, so I have no problem stocking up on that. And then um, I got two of these Olay body washes. They're two for 12 and then this guy for $3. So $15 for these three products, and then three of the bathroom tissues is $11.97. So the total for all of this is $26.97. Now digitally, I had a four off a two for the Olay, a $2 for the um, toothbrush, and then a big 50 cent for the Angel Soft. So the new total I had to pay was $20.47. I use $20 of Walgreens cash. Um, you have to roll it every once in a while and on my husband's card, you know, I don't do as many deals so I had to really do something with that Walgreens cash. And then what I got back guys was $5 for buying the Olay and then a $3 register reward for the Angel Soft, making this basket $12.47 but I mean basically guys, I use my Walgreens cash and I just paid down the tax. So I think this is a very smart deal, especially to get this beautiful toilet paper and like look at the size of these rolls. That's toilet paper until Halloween. <laughs> so very delighted with Okay, so over at uh, Walmart, I was doing some grocery shopping and I just looked through the sun care aisle. A friend of mine um, was saying to me that at her store um, up in Traverse City, they had a big, like a big basket of um, all these different sunscreens for a dollar. Unfortunately, where I live, they were not a dollar, but hey, it was worth a shot to look. Now, these baby ones, and they're quite sizable. That's like 9.5 ounces of, of baby sunscreen. This guy was um, $2 on the nose. $2 hang tag, we're talking free. The banana boat is this little double pack. Um, this was also $2, and there's a $2 coupon that was attached, making it completely for free. Um, and then the Cetaphil was $2.47. There was a $2 coupon right on the front, so it made it 47 cents. Unfortunately, I know I bought a rebate for that, but for Cetaphil, I will pay that all day, every day, and 18 times on Cetaphil. A little freebie is this Revlon. It's called Super Lustrous. I got this for my mom. She likes these little old lipsticks. Um, they just look like old lady type. <laughs> so these guys are uh, $4.74 each. Now, um, to my home, I got this mailer. Um, it was like a whole bunch of ads inside of it. And on the outside, they had some Revlon coupons. Um, I know not everybody will receive that, but I had it. A five off of two from that home mailer. And it worked with these. It's called the Super Lustrous Lipstick. Um, so I grabbed two of them for $9.48. 
Subtracting that five off of two coupon, and again, it was a home mailer. I paid $4.48. I bought it, gave me back a $5 um, little rebate, making it free plus a 52 cent money maker. Now, Revlon Candid, uh, this guy is $5.74. I had a $3 coupon from the same home mailer. I paid $2.47. I bought it, gave me back five bucks, so it made it free plus a $2.26 money maker. maker now I paid probably a dollar for this considering this 246 it basically shakes all of this out to free I would definitely look through the aisle with all of the um you know uh, sun care because you might be surprised what you find and if you find these hang tags that is the uh, key to it because you can get a lot of stuff really inexpensive so awesome. This is my Rite Aid haul and I apologize, I haven't been to the store in two weeks. Uh, not very motivated with a lot of their deals and it just seems like, I don't know, um, it, they've really changed up the rules and I don't know, I'm just not really a fan right now of Rite Aid. Um, maybe it'll change uh, when they have their Black Friday deals in November, but I don't know, it just seems really meh. Meh, meh, meh. So these guys are $3.99 by two get back um, $5 in bonus cash. You can do it twice per store card, so I grabbed a variety of um, batteries. So this was $15.96. And I was trying to get a $50 basket too, just to preface that. Now in our local newspaper, uh, there were some BOGO free coupons for both the Asper Cream and the Icy Hot. So Mr. Asper Cream, $5.99, $5.99, plus the BOGO free it would take $5.99 off of that. $7.99, $7.99, I had a free one for that. So um, for all of this, Eleven ninety eight and fifteen ninety eight, and then the deal on the Irish Spring. Um, buy two, get back two dollars in bonus cash. We have one seventy five cent coupon that you can use on the one that you're paying for. And with the fifty dollar basket, I was okay with doing that this week. Look at this one for fun, guys. Look, five in one. It's a shampoo, conditioner, body, face, and twenty four hour deodorizer. And it does your taxes, it drives your car. It's funny how men's products, it's like five in one, but the women's is just like body wash. But the men's, it's like, it'll do everything, including your taxes. It just makes me laugh. Anyhow, that aside, this whole basket was um, $54.90. I got the cashier to scan the 10 off of 50. And then I had a $5.99 coupon, a $7.99 coupon, and then $1.50 of the Irish Spring. So that came off. Um, so I paid $29.42 out of pocket. I had bonus cash that I rolled on this store card. And then I got back $20 in bonus cash. So hey, not a bad deal. Five for buying two, five for buying two. Buy two, get three, buy two, get three, and then four bucks, two and two. So that was not the worst. It was like $9.42 for this haul. Um, again, uh, Rite Aid, it's just kind of harder to do some deals um, for me. I just am not motivated to shop there. Honestly, I'm having a lot more fun at the Dollar General. It just seems like it's, it's, just, it's just my happy place and it's just a lot easier to shop there with digital coupons. So I have been shopping there a whole lot more than Rite Aid. So I might actually, um, you know, cash out my um, bonus cash on something unless they have like cool little freebies. Um, but I'm really finding it hard like every three or four weeks to just um, roll all my bonus cash into a deal. Like I lucked out this week, but some weeks it's really quite the struggle. Okay, so um, before I take off, we're going to talk really quickly about the Dollar General. This deal is still taking place. So it is to buy four of these little delicious candy bars. 
and use a 75 cent off of two plus a buy three get one for free and then with the weekly promotion of buy one get one free it shakes this out to 20 cents um, for the four you could do this once per store card but it's five cents per candy bar which is a really cool deal Okay, guys, as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.